Hey viewers, welcome back to Let's Play Alpha Protocol. Well, that last mission was kind of crazy. Um, what with our crazy new mercenary friend, hence the crazy crazy, and the crazy on top of the crazy. Okay. Ha! <laughs> bet, you, bet you wish we were here. We had a new recruit join the agency. We put him through the hazing which only handled the guards and gunfire with nerves of steel, except for... Well, when he finally came into the weapons range, I could smell something a little fierce. Turns out he crapped himself during the exercise. On the one hand, he was drugged, terrified, and disoriented, and shat himself. On the other hand, he was such a pro that he didn't let a jock strap full of waste get between him and an ace performance. I used to run and figure out what to do with him. So that's the important question. Miss me? Direct. Do I miss you in the sense that I wish I was back in the gray box? No. Do I miss you in the sense that we need to cut through the small talk and resolve the matter of our sexual tension? Yes. Dismissive? I only miss that Mina Tang. I only miss the Mina Tang that sends me valuable intel instead of flirting with me. Wow. You know, this is probably actually going to bring the cops in, as you might have heard. But let's take a risk. Well, it didn't lower anything with me, so I guess that's good. Hello, Mike. Oh God, she found me. Oh, I asked a uh, friend of mine by the way, and apparently it is, uh, it's not C or C-I, it's Z, as in just the letter Z. Go figure. At least, that's what he told me. So I could be wrong. Okay, someone owed me a favor and give me your email. Perhaps I should tell Halbeck you're using their bandwidth. It was a pleasure to encounter you in the flesh back at the station. We should encounter each other in the... Yeah. Clandestine and operatives really send emails from home base. Pirating civilian email servers is part of the job. Z, yeah, tell Hop. You know what? Ugh. Ugh. She's in her 40s. But, you know what? Manipulative, right? That's what Michael Thornton is, so I'm gonna. T uh. Perk required textaholic, 250 XP up. Aw. Guess I, yeah, I should have been aggressive. Always, always aggressive. Oh well. Okay, and all this stuff is. Okay, I mean, that's all just stuff that's happened before, so... There's lots of stuff for Surikov, but you know what? Since that's got that big A next to it, I said we were leaving, and we are totally leaving. So what is my reputation with everyone now? I think only three liked. Okay, well, that's still something. Okay. So, we will... Service... 250 XP, nice. Textaholic, was it? Don't hit girls. Textaholic. You replied to five emails. Ooh. Well, you know what? I will take it. In the meantime... Uh, no, we're not gonna do that. Oh, dang it. Okay. Back. What's Rome got? Just the Rome safe house. Okay, well, let's go to Taipei. Operation True Heirs. No intel acquired. Let's see what we come up with. Of course, this just means I'll be spending more money on intel, so it'll probably not work out for me in the long run, but whatever. They got some more mods for weapons I don't use, I can sell. This is it? After Rome and Moscow, I was expecting something a little more... upscale. Maybe you should unwind after the flight. Maybe take a shower. Shower? Oh, this is one of those secret agent hidden entrance things, isn't it? Well, it was until you started talking about it. Oh my god. This place. Oh, there's not one mattress. 
This place is a dump. Oh man, okay, let's check the shower out. Oh god. Okay, tell me there's... Turn on shower. Here we go. Are you sure about this? Positive. Trust me. Well, I do trust Mina. Okay. See? What did I tell you? Sorry. This. This is why I love you. You can send roses to my dead drop in Prague. Now that you've made it to Taipei, what are your plans? Priority one is to find out more about this assassination attempt. Agreed. How are you going to go about it? I've got three leads to start with. This Stephen Heck guy seems like he knows what's going on in Taipei. He might be able to answer some questions. Be careful, Mike. I've checked my databanks, and I can't find any evidence that Stephen Heck has ever worked for the CIA. I'll be on my guard. There's also that anomalous data trail from Shahid's system. Any luck tracing it down? I managed to follow it back to a place in the warehouse district. I'm forwarding the address to you now. What's the final lead? Simple. Follow the money. Shahid was funneling large amounts of money to a front corporation for the White Oak Mountain Triad. I think I can persuade them to tell me why. Sounds like you've got everything figured out. Isn't that why you love me? You watch yourself out there, Mr. Thornton. Always. Okay, so we've got an email to check out. I like how they keep moving these certificates around. That's... See, now that's a nice shower. This is pretty awesome. And it's actually way more spy like really you got a picture of Darcy by your bed still? That's a little weird. Anyhow, this is a lot more secret agent spy like. Blueprints. In Moscow today, authorities are back. Okay, already done that. Cool. Okay, so we've got our computer stuff up there. Weapons locker, I assume. Alright, let's check things out. Mike Thornton. <laughs> You're not much of a casual flirt guy, are you? I obviously like you. You're a good agent. I like being able to whisper in your ear while people shoot bullets at you. I'm also cooped up in the facility with no chance for a social life. Another boy who needs a woman to beat him? Bah, human with mommy issues are all the same. Oh, God. Should not have done that one. If you don't screw everything up and that world is still one piece, you can buy me dinner and we'll see what happens. Okay, so I mean, just keep sticking with the usual ones, I guess. People just kind of keep their own thing. Okay, contact Stephen Heck. Contact Hong Shi. You know what? Let's just pick it all up. There we go. I will never get that stealth armor. Not for 150,000 anyhow. Improved digital camouflage. So much stuff I'd like to buy. So much stuff I can't afford. Plus four damage minus everything else. The expensive accuracy, balance, and recoil control. Alright, well, you know what? We are all... Intelled up. So. Now, I'd, I'd rather not run a super long series of missions like I did last time. Kind of lost track of time. And that means that my video is kind of gets chopped up in an odd little way. So... Where's the new guy? Heck. Unknown, unknown American occupation dry cleaner? Question mark? So he knows, he knows everything that's going on, claims to be a member of the CIA, total operational discretion and oversight, affiliates unknown, sells and blackmails criminals to fund his covert ops. A self-devised method of combat which he describes as liquid terror. A lightning-fast series of darts and dashes that he uses to accurately kill or cripple multiple opponents with his hands, a pair of sharp objects, and sometimes a silenced pistol. Many chalk this technique up to Heck's own hype and disinformation. Nevertheless, 
Dates when Heck claims to have been engaged in operational activity coincide with reports of unusual cases of death at the Taipei morgue, including a man with known triad affiliations found with the chassis of a 10-speed mountain bike through his torso, and a Vatican intelligence agent with his airway obstructed by 17 communion wafers. Is that, <laughs> viewers, I don't think there's an insane option in my dialogue, but I really can't wait to meet this guy. Okay, and I guess there's nothing there on the individual. So the triad stuff must be... Chinese criminal organization's history reaching back to the 1700s. Well, let's go talk to Heck. Actually, you know what? I think I'm just going to select my mission from in here. It's probably faster. Contact Steven Heck. Start mission. Da na 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 Batman! Seriously, he is like a tunnel and a motorbike. Lucky 13 dry cleaning, Taipei. Alright. Hello? In the back! With you in a sec, buddy. Not too uncomfortable, I hope. Now this... This is dry cleaning solution. Active ingredient is perchloroethylene. Get stains out like a champ. Like a champ when, believe you me. Gonna be hard getting that stuff down his throat. Want me to get a funnel? A funnel? Yeah! <laughs> That's a killer idea! Aggressive it is. So you remember where they are now, do you? Candy dish. Ah, that does it, when You know I don't like sweet... Oh, the candy dish! That's right! That's where I left my keys. Should have said something earlier, Wen. You see what I almost made you drink? <laughs> Good old Wen. Always getting into antics. Anywho, what can I do you for? Aggressive. I like your style. Do any of the people you've interrogated know anything about an attempt on Sung's life? You came to the right place. And you're lucky you did. See, people come in and out of Taipei all the time without asking for clearance. So then I have to erase them so they don't expose me. I wasn't aware you had jurisdiction here. What are you trying to hide exactly? My secret identity and everything I know, that's what. Listen, did you know that in the 1960s, the CIA surgically jammed a mic and antenna into a cat for an op codenamed Acoustic Kitty? No, I've never heard that. Have you heard of anything relevant to my previous question? Oh, it's relevant. Just between you and me. And when. You're with the agency, am I right? That's not what I'm here to discuss. Do you know anything or not? Me? <laughs> Do I know something? That's a gas is what that is. You're wasting my time, Heck. Steven, relax. You came to the right place. Yeah, I work for a division of the CIA that doesn't officially exist. Super secret. They just kind of turned me loose and let me go nuts. Uh-huh. So, can you help me or not? Depends. How do I know you are who you say you are? I have to ask because, funny story, one time a salesman came in and I thought he was buying secrets about the German Chancellor's security detail. You remember a few years ago when Castro got ill all of a sudden? You did that? Well, let's just say I was in Cuba at the time, on vacation. That was you? Shit, I heard about that. Bravo. So, Ronald's son, huh? Hey, did you ever notice his name's an anagram for lard on guns? Ironic, isn't it? Hey, yeah. And uh, considering that item posted a few years back in the Worldly Weekly about that pig fat being used as an experimental bullet toxin, not a coincidence. You, you might be onto something there, Mike. Oh my god, this I'll look guy. I'll that for sure. Ronnie Sung, Ronnie Sung. What do you want to know, Mike? Personal demons, pants size, political capital, sexual proclivities? Hmm? Actually, all of the above. But right now, I'm most interested in who might want Sun dead. Political assassinations? Yeah, those are fun. One time I took out an entire soccer stadium just to kill the premier of Namidia. Hey, did you know at 400 miles an hour, soccer balls can decapitate people? I didn't. But Sun? Sure, sure. I can tell you this, Mike. There's a big conference coming up at the Grand Hotel. Sun's gonna be there, along with a few dozen EU bigwigs and the like. Ugh. I didn't bring my conference pass, and I don't feel like waiting in line. Unless it was worth my while. Taiwanese National Security Bureau is providing the security. 
You think those cats don't just have oodles of stuff on everybody who might want their boss dead? Hmm. Wouldn't be too hard to slip in and borrow some of that information. Knew that would appeal to you, Mike. Hey, give me a call when you head that way. I'd like to be in on this. You got it. Seriously, what the hell was that? <laughs> wow. Steven Hack is possibly the best character in this game. Okay, so back on target here. Suspected American intelligence operative. By contacting Steven Heck before conducting operations in Taipei, Agent Thornton ensured Heck's cooperation in future missions. Heck informed Agent Thornton at diplomatic conference at the Grand Hotel. So retrieve NSB data. Okay. That worked out pretty well. Hey, email. I bet it's Stephen Heck. And store items. I got on his good side. So, okay, I mean, I guess... See, I, I kept feeling that I was missing something, that I should have just gone straight nodes with, for example, Z, when I just feel I should have just been aggressive the whole time, because a couple times I picked even one or two options that weren't aggressive, I lost reps straight up. But with Heck, I was just trying to, I guess, follow the prompts on screen that seemed more likely, like playing along and doing that sort of thing, and that seemed to work out, so... I don't know, I just... Give me a call? Scarlet Lake? Okay. If you manage to be in Taipei, go ahead and give me a ring. Things are a little slow. I'd be good to meet up and know this is not a date. I'm just curious if you have more to say than you did in the plan as crypting on as that was. Maybe that's your angle. <laughs> Stephen Heck, buy my junk. I'm trying to use double entendres before the one world government makes them illegal. Seriously, dude, if you need guns or explosives or like, I don't know, surgical tubing, just look me up. I do a ton of business through the clearinghouse. Oh my god, this guy is amazing. Hey bro, quick recap. NSB guys will be lollygagging around the conference level, so it's going to be hard to move in with authorization. Now those NSB folks at the hotel include some major players in Bureau. They're going to have their computers hooked up remotely to access central servers while they're away from the office. Workaholics are the bane of sensible security. Oh, and you know if you have the time while you're poking around, keep an eye out for my name. I mean, I'm not saying you'll find a bunch of files about me, I'm just saying that if you happen to find files about me and they're full of lies about me being wanted for certain capital crimes, well, in the interest of preserving the truth for future generations, those files should probably be deleted. And if that does happen, let me know and I might have a nice stack of cash for you. I'm just saying. Yeah, <laughs> Stephen Heck is amazing. Okay. Hamilton 45. Okay, so I've got this stuff again. The top of the line with balanced traits. And not too insanely overpriced either. Some of the stuff is like 1200 for superior rifling. Okay. Sounds are Mark 2. Oh, tranquilize rounds. It was all my money, but at least I have tranquilizer rounds again. Actually, that reminds me, I should sell stuff for this thing. I sell. Can't sell any of you, but I can sell lower capacity shotgun mag. Composite rifle components. Nope, not gonna use those. 609, you know what, I can probably sell some of those. Okay. I think I can really sell there. Explosive grenades, sell those. No intelligence to sell. Lighter pistol barrel. I'm not going to use that because I need to have my silencer equipped. Probably sell some pistol rounds. Meanwhile, let's flip back to buy, see if we need new intel. Yep, NSB data. So let's hold off on that for now. Let's go talk to the other guy, because that should be a quick trip. Let's have a look at... Something to info on, where were you? 
NSB, here we go. Taiwan, 1955, Chief Operational Arm of the Taiwanese Intelligence Services. In its early days, the organization was referred to as the Taiwanese KGB due to its mysterious and fearsome reputation. Well, uh, thank God I'm just going to go talk to the Chinese triads. <laughs> So I do have a doc dossier in Hongxi. Okay, so where are you then, Mr. Dossier? Grigori, Nazari. I don't seem to have that dossier. Anywhere. Weird. Oh well, I guess we're gonna go in without it. Apparently everyone in this game responds well to aggressive anyhow, except Mina. Alright, let's talk to this guy. Start mission. Batman, Batman. I have an underground cave, it's pretty close. Lion's Den restaurant. Well this should be another peaceful meeting. I'm here to see the Red Lion. I'm a friend of the Sheik. Wow, that was it? Oh, he does have an SMG. Hong Shur, my name is Michael Thornton. I think you have information I need. I know many things. Most of them would be useful to someone, I'm sure. What is it you want from me, Mr. Thornton? I have no interest in bantering with an American cowboy. It upsets my digestion. Please, get to the point. Someone is planning to assassinate Ronald's son. You've been receiving transfers of funds from Shahid. I'd be willing to pay to see if these two facts are connected. Hmm, interesting. I admire a man who presents a business proposal clearly and succinctly. Mr. Thornton, a man in my position does not get to be a man in my position without knowing the value of a good trade. I can understand that. I suppose the question is what you need. Uh, some of my lieutenants seem to think they would do better without my loving guidance and gentle hand. They have set up shop in a disreputable part of town. Now if you were to uh, discourage them, I will tell you what I know. You don't even know me. Why trust me with something like this? Why not use your own people? My own people are known to these roads. You, on the other hand, look enough like an ignorant white old tourist that they might only mug you. Well, when you put it that way, it's hard to argue. All right, Mr. Hong. <laughs> I knew you would see the wisdom of this deal, Mr. Thornton. Uh, contact me again when my wayward children have been dealt with, huh? Oh, and Mr. Thornton. Yeah? Don't call me Mr. Hong. Hmm. Assault Triad Headquarters. Okay. See, that one sounds like it's going to be messy. But... Checkpoint reach. Anything else? New email. New store items. Okay, so talk to people is important. But you know what, viewers? Uh, that's not a bad length for a bit, a little bit more reasonable, and I will definitely run over 30 minutes if I start something now. So, when we come back, let's go pay a visit to the Triads. Or, unless I forget what I was doing, something else. Anyhow, viewers, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time on Let's Play Alpha Protocol. I have got to hang out with Stephen Heck some more. Seriously, that guy's awesome.